Things you must do first, true, and project north. You may have noticed when we talked about the project base point, which is this right here, we made sure that yes, we have our zero found, we're drawing based upon that base point, and our elevation is set. We've also went to project location under manage, and we found our exact location based upon the Google Maps. Now I said that if we were to go to 3D and look at the sun and the shadows, that that would be correct according to the location. Well, I was partially right because there is one more thing we need to discuss, and that is the orientation to True North versus Project North. To do that, we're going to go into the project browser and take a look at the site plan. Now, once we're in the site plan, we can click on the blue circle, which is the project base point. Right there, there's angle to true north. We could click on that and type 25, enter. Nothing happened. Well, actually, something did happen. If I go into the properties of the view, which is just clicking in the white space and going into properties, going down to orientation project north, what would happen if I switch the orientation of this view to true north? Aha, now it switches to 25 degrees off of the north. How do you get that number in the first place? How do I know it's 25 degrees off? Well, you could get a survey or you could go to Google Maps and take the image and measure what the difference is between True North and the Project North. If I go into the Project Location button again, this will load up our address that we have chosen. And it's just picked out of a hat. It's not a specific address with any meaning. We just wanted to pick something on Earth. So as we zoom in, we can change our view to hybrid or satellite. And if we continue to zoom in, we can see that north is straight up and this is rotated off of the north. So that's a way for us to measure between. If we have CAD or if we have something stating that, we can just physically measure it or use the image to measure as well. I'm going to just cancel out of that view. And I'm going to click on this project base point. And let's put this at 40 and see what happens. So as you can see, it continues to rotate. And that's in order to keep it properly aligned to the sun. So let's put that at 45. And let's flip back to our default 3D view, which is up here in the Quick Access toolbar. Click. Now you can see there's a slight change in the shadows because we have rotated our building. This is something that you want to do first, along with using the right template, setting the right base point, knowing where the project location is, and then setting the true north. There's a few other things to do before we actually really get going into drawing our building. So let's check that out.